Hey, this is Tom, and this is Tom's Real Room Show. Thanks for stopping by. What you have here is a smart battery charger. This was sent to me to do a review. It's an XTAR VC4 smart battery charger. And it charges the standard 1.4 rechargeable batteries plus the larger 3.7 volt batteries in various sizes. And I'm going to show it to you now. Here we go. Okay, here is the actual charger itself. It has a nice big display which is very reflective as you can see. And uh, it has four slots, spring loaded, so you can use different size batteries in this charger. And uh, it's got a very nifty display, which I'll show you in a few minutes. And it comes with a cable. Whoops. Here is the power cable. Now, the power cable, it does not come with a power source. This plugs into the charger, and this is a standard USB port, which will plug into your computer or your... Uh, USB adapter. So you have to supply the adapter. And I will talk about that a little later. And for right now, oh, and it also comes with a very nice carrying pouch. Now I consider this a storage pouch, not a carrying pouch. But it's a drawstring, so you can use to carry it. But the reason I, what I would use it for is, like, uh, is to store the charger in to keep the face of this from getting scratched. So that's what I would use that for. Okay, let's hook it up. I've got a uh, USB port here from my computer and we'll plug the cable in back here. And I apologize for my camera trying to focus all the time, but by using that mode I can bring the object in closer and you can get a better display. And let me just turn the light. Oh, that's pretty good right there. So you got what looks like tachometers. You got three of them. Two for measuring the what's going on with the batteries. And I'll show you how that works. And in the center one is the amount of current that's being used to charge the batteries. Each of the batteries. And what will happen is that depending on Boy, look at that reflection. Depending on the power that's being provided by your USB device, the current, um, will depend on how much current the charger has to charge the batteries. So what you would want to do, I think, is to get, and I've got some, I just didn't hook them up, is you wanted to get a separate power cube for, char for a USB port which is capable of about 2 amps. That gives you kind of a maximum capacity of this charger. Now, let's um, put some batteries in here. Here is one of those 3.7 bat volt batteries. This is an ultra fire. And I'll put it in this slot here. It's spring loaded. And it, um, okay, the red light comes on indicating that it's charging. Now, <laughs> I already charged all my batteries checking this thing out so all my batteries are charged and I haven't discharged but anyway let me kind of try to show you if I can get this to um, get rid of the reflection and focus uh, let me turn a light off maybe that'll cut down on the reflections there we go maybe that'll help maybe that will help okay there we go now you see it says it flashed full, that means this battery is already charged, which I knew that because I charged all my batteries. So anyway, um, this tachometer here and this one here is showing you the voltage on the batteries, the voltage on a battery. So right now, when this type of battery is fully charged, the voltage should be 4.2 volts. And then as soon as you start using it, it'll drop down to 3.7. So this battery is fully charged. It also shows you the numeric value here that you might be able to see. There it is. Is the amount of capacity that it 
the charger has put into the battery, which is zero now because this battery is all full, so it didn't need to put any more. But if you've got a uh, battery that's been discharged or partially discharged, because you don't want to fully discharge this kind of battery, then you will see as it's charging what the capacity in milliamp hours it is that it put in there. Now, these two larger slots on the outside will charge at a maximum of one amp for these bigger batteries. The two internal, which are made are set up for um, AA and AAA rechargeable batteries, will only charge at 0.5. You can also put, and let me get another one. You can also put the smaller types of this in this slot, in these two slots. So they will fit in there too. And you see, I don't know if you saw it, the tachinomer is now reading one, excuse me, 4.15 on this battery. So this one has discharged a little bit and it's now charging. So the indication of milliamp hours is blinking and it just went to one. So it's charging that battery and it's red. This one has turned green cause it's fully charged and it's time to take it out. Now the other thing that will happen is as you add batteries and it has to distribute the total charging current, the current reading here will go down, indicating it's having to distribute more current so each cell is going to get less. So for instance, if I take out these two big bad boys and I was only getting 0.2 amps, which 0.2 is pretty low and that's going to take a while to charge those batteries. So now I've got nothing in there and it's showing, if it could focus, 0.5 amps, which is the maximal output of that USB port on my computer. So if I put in just one AA battery, it doesn't change because it's only having to charge one battery it's using the full capacity of 0.5 to charge that one battery. And you will see, you know, as the thing, as the battery gets charged, this voltage indicator will rise. And it's sitting right now at about 1.49. So this battery is pretty charged too. Okay. Um, the this particular charger, unlike my other charge, my older charger, this is my older charger, this only charges AA and AAA batteries. That's all it'll charge. So it won't charge the newer technology 3.7 volt battery. So, but it will do a discharge test and actually discharge the battery to give you an indication of what the capacity of the battery was. This one, if you have a battery that's partially charged, say it's 80% charged, the indication here of capacity is only going to be that 20% that it put in it, that this charger put in it. So it's not giving you the full capacity of that battery. Now, if the battery is pretty well discharged, and you can't totally discharge these batteries, otherwise you'll damage them, then it will do that full charge and then the indication here is an indicator of the capacity of that fully charged battery. So that's how that works. So um, I think it's a pretty good charger. I think it's about $24 from XTAR. You can go to their website XTAR.com or you can get this off of Amazon. And uh, I think you'll really like it, especially if you're moving to the newer technology. As you saw in a couple of shows ago, I, I bought those power pack shells. It's just an empty shell, shell and you supply your own uh, batteries. And when one goes bad, you just throw it away and put in a new battery. So the shell is still good. So I'm into that now. And I'm learning about... The quality of these batteries, you know, this Ultra Fire compared to, say, a Panasonic or something else. And that's the next thing I'll be experimenting on is the real capacity of these batteries. 
So that's the show for today. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.